Now, in the third and final part of our special three-part series of reports on Kim Jong-un's first three years in power in North Korea, we're going to take a look at Pyongyang's rare attempt to re-engage with the outside world. But, as our Hwang Sung-hee tells us, it merely served to deepen the regime's diplomatic isolation. Getting cozy with Russia, sending a high-level delegation to South Korea, negotiating the abductee issue with Japan, and releasing American detainees. North Korea engaged in a series of unusual diplomatic overtures this year as it found itself on the outs with its longtime ally, China. But the efforts proved unsuccessful. Led by the United Nations, North Korea came under strong pressure to improve its human rights issue. Consequently, its efforts to diversify diplomacy hit hurdles and the regime became even more isolated. Pyongyang warned of more nuclear tests to counter the latest UN push on its human rights violations. In their attempts to eliminate the state and social system of the DPRK is compelling us not to refrain any further from conducting nuclear tests. But analysts doubt Pyongyang will be so hasty with a nuclear test, since that would anger its allies China and Russia, although the regime will likely launch a violent protest. Their strategy, their playbook is to respond with force, fight fire with fire. Another nuclear test, another missile launch, um, you know, satellite launch I think will be coming in 2015. That would further delay the possible resumption of the long-stalled six-party nuclear talks involving the two Koreas, the U.S., China, Japan and Russia. Nonetheless, experts say North Korea will be more aggressive with multilateral dialogue next year and seek diplomacy at the highest level. In order to end its current diplomatic isolation, North Korea will be more vocal about resuming the six-party talks. In that process, it could seek a visit to China or Russia by Kim Jong-un. Seoul's unification ministry echoes that view. It expects Pyongyang to use all means available for a bilateral meeting with Washington. There could also be some progress in negotiations with Japan by July, marking the one-year anniversary of opening such talks. And if these all-out efforts to end its diplomatic isolation fail, the ministry says North Korea could seek an opening by turning to South Korea. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.